Hi guys, so today I wanted to make a special video because technically starting next week it's going to be my finals week and I've officially ended my first year of college more specifically my first year at UMass Boston and if you don't know what UMass Boston is it's a public university residing in Massachusetts particularly in the Boston slash Dorchester area in its own peninsula island and so it's a kind of secluded university from the rest of the city but it's still right nearby so some things I wanted to talk about is just my experience, the hardships I went through my first year, some advice, and something to wrap it all up. And this is mainly for people who are thinking about going to UMass Boston, who are planning to go to UMass Boston soon, or um, are just looking into different colleges around the city, state, country, globe, and that's okay. And so that's why I'm here to talk about it. And so just to lay out some groundwork and get the introduction out of the way, I am class of 2023, obviously, and I'm a rising sophomore. I'm an information technology major, um, Bachelor of Science. And fun fact, I actually applied originally during my senior year as a computer science major, Bachelor of Arts, which I don't know why I did that. Looking back, that was kind of, kind of stupid. But um, I quickly changed my mind because I realized that IT just had so many more offers um, to give me and just had so much more that I wanted, preferably like for myself in the future, um, career-wise. And so cause some clubs I was involved in was VSA, um, the Vietnamese Student Association, because I wanted to be more in-depth and more connected with my um, roots, and the AASP, which is the Asian American Success Program, which offers career, school, work-related professional help. And that was also very helpful because they're so kind and they are always reaching out to people and students and it is amazing. And so another thing about myself is that I worked a part-time job around 10 to 15 hours a week and... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it um, because I got to get my money somehow and also college is a scam. So that's why I need money. And so basically adjusting to college life first became really hard because I realized that it's kind of like high school, but not really. Um, my friend told me in a way that it's just you, your laptop and your laptop charger against the whole world. And I agree. It's a lot harder than you anticipate it to be. Um, you hold yourself more accountable and you're treated more like an adult, which I love and hate because sometimes I want to go into a corner of the room in a ball and cry. And sometimes I hate being treated like a kid. And so that is why I really liked the idea of being treated like an adult slash hated it. Um, it wasn't a conventional experience either. I didn't dorm and I know that a lot of my friends there didn't dorm as well. Some people lived on off-campus housing, which was just a few miles or even blocks away from the school. Meanwhile, others lived at home like me. Um, and I live like around, I think five, five to eight miles. That's a large gap, but five to eight miles away from campus. So I would commute and like take the train. Um, and so commute times, if I left early, would be around 30 minutes. That's not so bad. But if I left around um, midday, around noon, it would take me around 40 to an hour. So it was a bit of a pain, to say the least, when it came to getting ready to go to school and then having to go back really late at night because my days would usually consist of 12 hours long. And so I would just be wiped out by the end. So... Another thing about me is that I really liked um, a Boston life, um, like the culture, like there's so many places to eat, so much nightlife, so much to do, no matter what time of the day it is. And so just having that all accessible to me um, was the main factor of why I wanted to stay in Boston. So if you're a city person, I highly recommend going to UMass. Um, so just some advice for anyone who's, a plan a p anyone who's planning to apply or who's going soon. I, I recommend exploring Boston because there's so much to do. There are different groups there. There are different schools like Northeastern, um, BU, Emerson, Suffolk, just to name a few. And they all offer different things like, um, for me, I like to dance. So I like to go to different, da different dance workshops offered by different schools. And so that allows me to connect and have fun. Um, next thing I wanted to talk about is to find your circle and find your people because there are 
are a lot of students who also dorm and also um, go to UMass Boston and it's very easy to find friends however it's very hard to find a good circle of people or um, your circle of people of that matter to really motivate you to feel belong and just to adapt to the new setting and I think that's really important your first year because you're still trying to figure things out um, in the college atmosphere and so once you have a good set of friends and a good set of people in your life that just makes everything so much better and so um, final thing I wanted to talk about is it's okay to not know what you want and it's okay to feel misguided um, for a while because you have two years to plan to really commit to a major and there are a lot of things in your way when you're trying to navigate through college like how do I plan for this and how do I navigate that and so I think that having a good circle of friends can help but I think that it's also based on you and trying to figure it out yourself and that takes time and that is okay so next is some advice for just um generally anyone who is going or planning to go to UMass Boston is to find a space to study that can either be the Healy Library because there are so many floors in that building that it's crazy. Um, there are um, different places like the CAF, um, near Dunkin' Donuts, just almost anywhere. And it's fairly quiet in some places, fairly loud because of foot traffic, but overall it's, um, it's not that hard to find a place to study, but I recommend finding your place to study. There's many different pockets of areas that you can just go to. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is don't be lazy and be active because I noticed that the first few months of me being in college I was starting to gain weight and that is okay but that was not okay for me personally and because I didn't want to gain freshman 15 I started going to the gym because I saw my friends going to the gym routinely and so I thought it wouldn't hurt to follow suit and so that's why um, so that's why I like going to the gym now and yeah, making friends was also a great, was also such an amazing experience when going to the gym. Like, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, and also, there are recreational sports. I like playing Batman with my friends. One time we played volleyball at one of the gyms. And um, above all else, if you're in a competitive person and you want to join like a team sport that's not recreational but for the school then feel free to do so we are a division three school so we are not the best if you want to go to a division one school i highly recommend umass lowell but we are division three and so for that matter we're not the best we're not the worst but definitely a good time so i highly recommend you give that a shot um Next is pre-plan your days and your meals. If you're a commuter student or even if you dorm, I highly recommend that you have your stuff figured out for the day because for me, um, a day usually lasts around 10 to 12 hours. And so whatever's in my backpack is what I have for me. And so if I leave something or if I forget something anywhere, I get really frustrated because I just need everything. And that kind of like builds up on hoarding. But overall, I think that it's important to just have your life together because who else is going to do it for you so um if you can pre-plan your meals because UMass Boston isn't the cheapest I just think if you're going to pay like five six dollars for a sandwich every time it's not worth it and so if you have the option of baking lunch before then do it I highly recommend it and if you can't do that then Uber Eats because if you keep on eating school lunch at a routinely pace, it becomes really annoying and you get sick of it. And so Uber Eats became my friend quickly during college because all my friends would Uber Eats during late nights. And so would I because um, we would just be in the mood for fast food or we would just be craving boba tea. And that's OK because um, because sometimes you just need it and sometimes it's going to burn a, a hole in your wallet. But that's OK. Um, Basically, um, last of my advice is reach out because walking around campus, there are so many flyers, there are so many advertisements around the school that chances of you finding um, something that clicks with you is going to reach like in a matter of just a few days of walking around. I highly recommend you get involved. There's like there's school newspaper, school magazine. You can find internships, studies, jobs on campus, almost anything because we are a public like a public university. Sorry. 
um and so yeah it's just really up to you to reach out and so in conclusion college is a scam no i'm kidding um in conclusion this is not a regular college experience i lived at home i took the train every day i um was only on campus to really go to class to study but overall like it was a type of experience that i wouldn't trade because it treated me like an adult it taught me a lot and i really liked that um and also uh finally it's really up to you to do well in school you can have so many motivate motivational factors like um your friends motivating you your classmates your professors reaching out but overall at the end of the day it's up to you to prepare yourself for whatever comes your way because college is really hard dude i almost failed like a lot of times and i'm so glad i didn't because because i pay for this like i can't fail dude it's okay if you fail but just remember that your money or your parents money is literally going into the university hence why you should try your best and also not skip class because every class you skip you're losing a percentage of money that you paid for and for that i feel really guilty for ever skipping class but that's okay so if you're still in high school i recommend um if you want to skip class now do it do it because you're not paying any money but overall when you go to college don't skip class because you are paying money for that all right bye